Do you want to be blessed today? I do. And in Psalm chapter 1, as the psalmist compares the way of the righteous with the end of the ungodly, we're given a practical pattern and promise for the Lord's blessing upon our lives. Verse 1 begins, blessed is the man. And here's what we know about that blessed person. First, this person is not walking in the counsel of the ungodly. As you and I walk through life, advice or counsel is important. In Proverbs, we're encouraged to find safety in a multitude of counselors. And to be blessed, the counsel we receive must be wise and godly counsel. This blessed person also doesn't stand in the path of sinners. And I love the pathway illustration. See, sinners have a path, and they wear that path by walking in the same places with the same people over and over and over again. And to be blessed, it's important for us to stay away from the people and places on the pathway of sinners. Nor does this blessed person sit in the seat of the scornful. Scorn is an attitude of contempt or disdain toward another person. It's driven by pride and it overflows out of one's mouth. The ungodly are full of scorn, but the blessed don't sit with them. They don't make their company with them. So do you really want God to bless you today? Well, here are three things to stay away from. The counsel of the ungodly, the pathway of sinners, and the attitude of the scornful. Let's stay away from these today and be blessed. Blessed is the man.